So this is the uh, Outlook web app for web-based email. Uh, you might want to change to a, a desktop uh, email system. Here's one way to do that. Uh, I'm going to switch to uh, Apple Mail. It's a program built into every Apple. Um, it just says Mail. It's got a little postage stamp. You click on it. When you launch it, it should ask how uh, what kind of account you want to set up. Um, if you have like personal email accounts you want to set up with Google or Yahoo or whatever, you can do that. But uh, usually for a work email address, you would click Exchange and then Continue. And then um, put in your password for your email and then Continue. Um, this is the only really hard part. Um, the server address is oa.labschool.org and then Continue and one more continue you can select your options here I, you can just leave it on mail check all the boxes so you can bring over your outlook contacts and calendar and then you wait for this to uh, populate itself and uh, that was actually pretty fast so it got them um, got my inbox if you notice this top one it says Chris Palmer and if I go back to this says Chris Palmer so it, it grabbed everything in my inbox um, uh, drafts and grab my drafts grab my sent emails one nice thing about this email is the search if you're like me you're trying to dig out old emails uh, pretty frequently and it's a little challenging to do that so to do that um, you would type whatever you're searching for up here um, and uh, you can um, you know, I think it defaults to message contains the word. If I want it from the sender, I would just click the sender. Um, I can change that to any option there. And uh, you can click, right, it defaults to whatever mailbox you're in, but here's the real nice thing. You can change it to all. So this is going to search both my inbox and my sent messages. So it's searching everything to find um, a message from Daniel. Um, so that's real nice. Other than that, um, pretty much every email uh, client is the same, right? There's a compose email button there, and there's the forward and the reply buttons up here. Your mailbox is over here. Um, the one sort of neat feature that I'll point out is you can actually customize your toolbar. If you right-click on the toolbar, there's a customize toolbar option. And for me, like, I never flag my email, so I'll drag that off the bar. Um, but I do... Um, like to make the text bigger and smaller a lot on email, so I'll drag that guy up here, and to make it extra neat, I'll put a little empty space right there, maybe two, and um, I don't mark things as spam very often, but I do archive things, so I'll grab the archive button and another little space. So anyway, you can kind of mix and match and make the toolbar look uh, just the way you wanted. If you ever want to reset it back to the original, you just drag the default set, and you're back to the way it was in the beginning. So that's it. Uh, Enjoy uh, your new mail client.